Hello everyone and welcome back to my English video class. Students, today I am back with an another chapter of your Hornbill textbook that is chapter 3, Discovering Tut. The saga continues. Okay. So let's come to the title of it. What does it say? Discovering Tut. The saga continues. Discovery, you know, what discovery is what? Searching something. If something is already existing and you are searching about it, that is what discovering about it. So discovering touch, who is touch? Touch is here the king from the Pharaoh dynasty. Okay, so we are studying about it. The saga continues. Saga is what? A narrative story, a long story that continues. How it continues, we will try to understand in this chapter. Students, as I see that most of you have found this chapter a little bit boring. Hence, we will study this chapter in such a way that it could be very much helpful for you and you could comprehend it well. So, in order to study this chapter in such a way, we will cover this chapter in three parts. Like, in the first part, we will cover up like the introduction part, that who was King Tut, okay, then we will study about the history of it. And in the third part, we will try to understand the scientific discoveries related to King Tut. So, in this way, we are going to understand this chapter. Okay, so first let's begin this chapter with the introduction part of it. Okay, here this chapter is about the last heir of the powerful pharaoh dynasty, Tutankhamun. Okay, who is Tutankhamun? It was the nickname of him, the King Tut. Okay, who died when he was a teenager after ruling for nine years. Okay, who died when he was nine years old. Okay. He died in a mysterious way. Nobody could know like how he died. So this is also the part of our learning. This chapter throws light over all the possible mysteries, the curse where his tomb lies, his life, and ultimately the death of him. Okay? Egyptians believe that there is life after death. Okay? As you know, the Egyptians believe that there is life after death. And that's why what you find the pharaohs were buried with wealth and everyday used items. Whenever they are buried, you know, they are so much adorned with jewelry, ornaments and all the everyday used items. So these are such beliefs of the Egyptians. This is all about the introduction part of this chapter. Now let's try to understand something more about it. Students, before we proceed with the chapter summarization, now let's try to cover up some keywords of the chapter which I have specifically selected for you. So, what is the first word? Tut. What is Tut here? A young Egyptian king here. Okay, that is Tut. Okay, air. The pronunciation is air. Okay, not air. So, it is air. Air means someone who inherits the property of the same dynasty or the other. Okay, so one who inherits is known as air. Jisko hum uttaradhikari bolte hain ya varish bolte hain. Okay, so that is air. Pharaoh. What is Pharaoh? An Egyptian king. Okay, that's the dynasty, Egyptian dynasty. King is known as Pharaoh. So, what is Pharaoh? An Egyptian king. That is Pharaoh. Probe. If you are probing something, that means you are examining something. So, probe means examine something. Mummy. What is mummy? Uh, you would have seen when you talk about the Egypt, as you know, that there is a tradition that each and every dead body is being buried. Okay? And they are mummified. So, what is mummy? Mummy is a preserved dead body. Okay? If you are mummifying it, means you are preserving it in such a way that it could live long, it could long last. Yeah? Okay? So, what is mummy? Mummy, a preserved dead body. Okay? Gilded. What is gilded? If something is covered with gold, that is known as gilded. Okay? Coffin. What is coffin? Coffin is a box in which dead bodies are kept. That is called coffin. Okay? What is ransacked? Ransacked means looted. Okay? Archaeologist. Who is archaeologist? A scientist who studies the ancient remains. Okay? So, a person who studies ancient remains are known as archaeologist. Tomography. What is tomography? Tomography is a technique of body examination through x-rays. Okay? So, that is tomography. Regally. What do you mean by regally? If something is being done in a royal manner, that is what regally. So, regally means sagi and Okay? Intricate. And what is intricate? It's a common word I hope. And intricate means that is complex. Okay? If something is complex, that is known as intricate. Though there are so many words in this chapter, I am sure you would have learnt it. But uh, some of the words I have selected here for today. For more words, you can go through the chapter and read it more and more. Now let's try to summarize this chapter through some basic key points. What does the first point say? Tet was the last heir of a powerful Egyptian dynasty. As I said, Tet was the last heir of the Egyptian dynasty. Okay, And he was of 9 years old when he died. 
In the year 1922, this tomb was discovered by an English archaeologist Carter okay, and his men. After 80 years, his mummy was taken for the CT scan and some of them believe that he it was a murder, he was murdered okay, at the age of 9. Though nobody knows how he, de how he got dead, but, but to justify this, to clarify it, like how this all happened, uh, his mummy was taken for the CT scan okay you know what is mummy would have seen the movie mummy and mummy is what mummy finds something then we preserve the body through different layers through oiling through uh, different aspects okay that is called mummy fine okay so uh, the text mummy was in very bad shape having lots of gold and uh, wealth okay when it was discovered by the carter what he found that the mummy was not in a good shape okay and his tomb was found rock cut 26 feet under the ground. His tomb that has been discovered by the Carter was 26 feet rock cut under the ground. Okay. Anyhow, with great effort, Carter and his men removed the adhesive part with a chisel and hammer. It has been so much fastened and uh, the resin all has been applied to it. So it was very hard to examine it. So later in January 2009, then the mummy was taken for a CT scan where it created 1700 digital x-rays, x-ray images of his head, neck and skull. This shows like how the technology has become advanced. Okay, today's technology can answer how a man died and how old he was at the time of his death. So these are the advancements that we have come across. Okay, now let's move to some more points. Here, after completing the scan, Ted's body was carried back to his tomb where his body is resting in peace. So in this chapter, you find out how an Egyptian king, uh, King Tut uh, from the Pharaoh dynasty, died mysteriously and to find it out, his body was taken and scanned and when it was scanned, there were number of clues came out and we come to know like what was the age of it. So when we conclude this chapter, we find in the summary that how Tutankhamun or Tutankhaten, the Tut, the famous ruler, the great ruler from the Pharaoh dynasty got mysteriously dead and is now resting in peace in his tomb. Okay, so that's all in this chapter. So that's it for now. Thank you so much. Take care. Good day. Study well.